If you feel a bit behind in life and you feel the need for self-reinvention, this video is for you. First of all, I want you to know that this is actually a very common feeling in today's culture, because we live in a very contradictory times, where on the one hand it seems that we have endless opportunities, but on the other hand there are still a lot of people who feel behind in life. Even on YouTube what you can see is that people who are younger than you already achieved so much more than you and the fact that we have the same opportunities or at least it seems so only exaggerate this feeling of resentment and anxiety in people who haven't figured out everything yet. So I would like to share with you first of all how to look at advantages of your situation because I believe that to change something you first have to accept it. And then I'm gonna also share with you how to reinvent your life and yourself so you can become your own best version. If you enjoy this kind of content subscribe to my channel because in this way you can see my future videos. And let's go! Avoid this trap. I think that for some people the idea of self-reinvention can come from a very insecure place, where they don't really like their lives and that also makes them dislike themselves. And I want you to avoid this trap, because to actually reinvent yourself you need to first love the person you are today, because I think it will help you a lot during this process. And at the end of the day, even if you change a lot, you're still gonna be the same person, but a bit better. So the same, but not the same. <laughs> I hope you know what I mean. And that's why it's good to realize that it is okay. It is okay whatever you do. It is okay not to have everything figured out yet. It is okay not to know everything. Not knowing everything gives you an opportunity for self-discovery. And it can be an amazing journey where you are a creator of your own life and you can build it like an architect. The truth is that your life would be horribly boring if you knew everything. I know that people naturally want to know as much as they can because we are naturally curious. But sometimes it's okay not to know what you are meant to be doing because it gives you an opportunity to experiment. Self-reflection most people aspire to be better, but the question is, what do you actually do to get better? Everybody has their best and their worst self, and every single day is one step towards either your best self or your worst self. Because the truth is that if you don't progress, you regress. So without putting pressure on you, I just wanted to tell you that there is no time left and just don't wait too long with the changes that you want to make, because after the time passes by, it's gonna be even harder and harder to change anything. Imagine yourself five years from now, it's gonna be even harder for you to reinvent your life, because you're gonna be just more used to your current situation. That's why I want you to reflect on yourself and on your life, so you can clearly define your best self and you can use for that the SWOT analysis. So you just need a piece of paper and you need to divide it into four parts. In the left upper corner, write your strengths. On the left side, your weaknesses. At the bottom, opportunities and threats. Identity versus habits. Two crucial elements while reinventing yourselves are your habits and your identity. Your habits are the things that you do on a daily basis, and your identity is the person that you believe you are. So there are actually two ways of how you can achieve reinvention. You can either first build the right habits and then let them shift your identity, or the other way around. You can shift your identity first for the right mindset and that will help you to build the right habits. But in general, we can say that those two things are actually connected with each other, because one forms and influences the other. One thing at a time. I know that it's not easy to change your habits and also to change the way you view yourself, and that's why I think that the best change is a slow change. So, in other words, the slower the process of your reinvention will be, the more likely you are to stick to it. I know that you probably have those big goals in your mind, but 
Honestly, something that really worked for me was choosing one relatively simple thing to do at the time and making it a part of my life before I move to the second more difficult task. This is like a small victory that really encourages to make other changes in your life. And let me give you an example from my own experience. I used to eat a bit unhealthy. I didn't have that much time to prepare food for myself and I used to eat some instant dishes that I could find in a supermarket. And one day I just decided to eat more healthy. And it was actually relatively easy to change because I realized that there are actually a lot of dishes that I can prepare in less than 15 minutes. So I started buying more fresh and healthy products. And at that time, I didn't really know that it's gonna have an influence on other areas of my life. But later I noticed that I had more energy, I wanted to exercise more, I wanted to study more, so it really worked for me. I think that if I decided to do all of this at once, I wouldn't stick to it for long. It would be just too demanding. So at the beginning, look just for those little things that you can change and build your confidence on that, so later you can go further and further. Don't judge your performance perform. Very often the biggest criticism that we have to face in our lives is our own criticism. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely good to have self-reflection and it's definitely good to see yourself and your performance objectively. But I just don't want you to sit, overthink, overanalyze your actions if you can spend this time on acting, on actually creating new things, on learning new things. And let me share my unpopular opinion. So I think that something is better than nothing. And anything that you finish is way better than something that you started and you are overthinking it till now. Because all of those unfinished projects just take up your mental space. And as an example, I can tell you that there are some videos on my channel that even when I was posting them, I knew that that video was definitely not perfect. I knew that there were some parts that could be improved. But instead of spending weeks of creating one video, I decided to create another one and another one and improve my skills of talking to the camera, of editing over time. You need experience to get better. Your first video is not gonna be your best video. Your first novel, if you are a writer, is not gonna be your best novel ever. Your first painting as a painter, definitely not gonna be your best painting. So don't judge your performance, perform. To break free from laziness and to actually achieve your goals that you set for yourself, check out the video that is visible on the screen. See you there.